this I'll do a little aquaponics update I've been getting the greenhouse ready for winter what I've been doing is covering it up with some of this uh, multi-filament tape uh, I noticed that the the tarp the tar tape that I was using eventually starts melting and running off of the greenhouse so now with this uh, triple filament tape it seems to be able to hold out through the winter or next winter uh, everything's going well in the greenhouse uh, the pepper plants are still continuing uh, to crush it some jalapenos and some Thai peppers are turning red uh, the pepper plants never disappoint uh, RFF is doing well. Fish are doing well. I've got mostly catfish now. Uh, here's some uh, flax from Finland that is going to be overwintering here and some ground cover. And now here is the, the queen of the day, the oyster mushroom setup. Uh, this is the second flush and it seems to be doing okay. Um, the only issue that I had is when I was putting it in here I dropped it and split the log in half, which I'm sure was not good for the mycelium. However, you can see that uh, in any case, uh, they seem to have rebounded nicely. This is the second flush. And by the way, these are great sauteed with a little butter and salt. Uh, very, very tasty. These are the pink oyster mushrooms um, from the mushroom patch. And I'll do a far away shot as a lot of people have asked. Um, so you can see it's just basically a media bed that I've covered with this tote and it seems to do pretty well with the gas exchange and the humidity for the mushrooms there's the star the moringa tree that's uh, hopefully will survive the winter here in this greenhouse and I transplanted some of the plants that were in the back over to the front these are some Swiss chards and some kales and there of course we have the um, asparagus in the back of the tomato plant Anyways, uh, all is well, and I will keep you guys posted, and you guys have an awesome, awesome day.